Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you an exciting new method for installing APK files on iOS devices. If you're familiar with APK files, you know they're typically designed for Android devices. But today, I'm going to show you a brand new way to get these files running on your iPhone or iPad. We'll be using an app called iAPK for this method. I've already installed it on my iPhone, so let's open it up and see how it works. When you open the app, you'll see a list of APK files that you have on your device. For example, I have the APK file for Happy Mod, and I've already installed it using iAPK. Here's the Happy Mod app running smoothly on my iPhone, just like it would on an Android device. This method is incredible because it allows you to access some great apps that were previously unavailable on iOS. If you're interested in getting iAPK on your device, keep watching the video. I'll guide you through the entire process of downloading, installing, and using the app to install APK files on your iPhone or iPad. Let's get started with the tutorial. First, let's start by adjusting a couple of settings to optimize your device for this app. Head into your settings, tap on General, and make sure that Background App Refresh is turned on, either for Wi-Fi or for both Wi-Fi and mobile data. This ensures the app can run smoothly in the background. Next, swing by your battery settings and switch off low power mode. This feature can slow down your device, which we definitely don't want happening. With these two settings tweaked, you're all ready to move on to the next step. What you need to do next is open up your internet browser, in my case it's Safari, and go to the website called rocketmods.com. Rocketmods is a website where you can find many apps and games with amazing features. Once you are on the website, search for IAPK and click on it. Here you will see some information about the app. To start the download, click on the green button and wait some time for the installation to finish. However, there is one more step that you need to complete before you can finish the installation. This step may vary depending on your device model and operating system and usually involves some pretty simple steps. Don't worry, this step is very easy and quick and there will be a video tutorial on how to complete it. Just follow the instructions and you should be fine. So, that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.